Walter Henderson is a case manager for the St. Petersburg Free Clinic's management facility, the Beacon House. He also used to be homeless. He received his associate's degree at SPC and is currently in the technology management BAS program here as well. Please welcome him as he come forward to share his experience with us. You didn't tell me, nor did Dr. Kerr, that I was going to be falling behind the supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so very much. Um, my understanding, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, this is a lot of human service students here right now. Um, and, and if you're here to figure out how to do human services, they're going to do a great job in schools teaching you that. That's really what it's all about. Um, I can tell you that. What I learn mostly, or what is reinforced for me mostly every day when I'm at work, is remembering that what I want, my vision for my customers, isn't what's important. It's what their vision is. And they talked about that a little bit in school, and I really wish I'd even listened more, or practiced it more. Because the reality is, it is the dominant thing dealing with, your, dealing with our customers. Truth of the matter is, we have an agenda. I work with homeless people. I want to end homelessness, right? That's my agenda. But not everyone I speak to has that same agenda. Sometimes my customer's agenda is simple. It's can I just get off the street for a week until my you know, check comes in. Well, you know what? That's a survival strategy. It's not the worst survival strategy in the world. Because what they're really saying to me is, hey, I don't want to go out and steal, I don't want to panhandle and bang, I don't want to hurt anybody, I don't want to break any laws, what I really want is just to be safe for a short period of time, and can you help me? That's what they're saying. And even though that doesn't fit my agenda, and frankly, even though I can't help them at my agency, with, with, if that's what their deal is, I can certainly though, guide them to a place that will help them, and I do. Hey man, I can't help you personally today, but you're still a customer because you took time to come see me. Why don't you call this guy, tell him I told you to call, and I know he's got your back. And they'll do that. And why is that important? Because the other big thing I've learned doing what we're doing here is that the last guy's problems can't impact the next person's problems. The last customer's issue can't bleed over to the next. And if I'm stuck not resolving my previous customer's issues, when the next customer shows up, I'm not a robot. Sometimes that gets, sometimes that can leak through. And that doesn't help him. That's suboptimal. Great taste in the by the way. Um, that's suboptimal. I can't help that next person if I'm still unresolved stuff. So my, I don't know, the biggest thing I guess I'm saying here is when you have someone in front of you, remember they're human, they're a person, and that unique set of issues that they've got to get dealt with, do your best to address them. And even if you can't resolve all of this stuff, do not let them get off that, get away from your desk without some taste of where to go next for help. Because if you do that, you have done the best thing that you can do for your next customer. And your next customer just might be the one that your agency needs. And this happens all the time. In fact, it's the single most frequent conflict, tension, that I have in my day. And, and it's a wonderful thing to fall back on, stay out of the way, Walter, something that you know, a couple of professors down at, UF, down at uh, SBC were telling me every single week. So that's the deal. It's not about us. Um, that's all I really got for what do I do. And